This is the future. Human error. Okay, we got lots of things to cover in this video so let's not do any long introduction. First of all, melee weapons are not the real problem in the game. You might think that it's overpowered but the truth is, guns in Warframe suck. Well, not all, but most of the guns are useless because it's inefficient in killing multiple enemies at the fastest time possible. It's true that we use guns and not melee to kill bosses like Eidolons and Orb Mothers. But still, only a few guns can be used to take down these types of enemies in the game. And, some melee weapons, like the Redeemer Prime proves to be better compared to other guns in taking down these bosses. And mind you, I'm just getting started. Before we continue, I would like to say a few quick words to thank our sponsor for this video. Friends and Dragons, a mobile puzzle role-playing game that you can download right now for free on your iPhone or Android devices. This game offers a unique experience to players as it combines the strategic element of chess with role-playing gameplay that develops into a skill-demanding dungeon-delving adventure. It also has a cooperative mode, which allows you to join a guild and play together with friends. You can help each other out in heroic dungeons or overcome hard challenges in the campaign to gain twice the amount of loot. The game has over 100 diverse and unique heroes that have unique skills and abilities to defeat monsters and bosses. There are also hundreds of dungeons and levels to defeat, and heroic dragons to beat. The best part is, the developer is constantly updating the game every week to add new features and content that players will surely enjoy. So, what are you waiting for? Join me and play this new addictive mobile craze. The link to the game is in the video description description and as well as in the pinned comment below. It's free to download, and you can start playing the game right away. Have fun, and I hope you enjoy the game. Like I've said, guns are nowhere near the effectiveness of melee weapons with an exemption for those who can fire massive area of effect projectiles to hit and kill multiple enemies at once. The way I see it, Warframe is leaning towards nuking enemies when playing star chart missions. Snipers and other critical based guns are often used to take down bosses in open areas but when it comes to star chart enemies, it's all about killing a bunch of enemies in one blast. The funny thing is, players have become so acquainted with this that if it's not a no gun, then it's not good. You can't blame these players because the reality is, Warframe is all about kill speed wherein the faster you kill the enemies, the greater the chance of your survivability, and making farming missions a lot faster. This leads us to point number two. The enemies in the game are brain dead artificial intelligence that doesn't do react to certain situations. Where am I getting at? Well, the fact is, the enemies don't do anything to counter our attacks. All they do is walk, run, shoot, attack with melee weapons, meet hook, and all those stupid things that will easily get them killed. They hide sometimes, deploy a bunch of squishy walls, or even mount an artillery gun but, what's the point in doing all of that when they are just susceptible to being melee killed? I know the community has been screaming about this for years, and props to Digital Extremes for doing something about it. They release a tougher content in the form of Steel Path, and they even add acolytes in this new hard mode. However, making the enemies tough is not enough in my opinion. Even with higher levels, with an increase in health, shield, and armor values, enemies still die with a few swings of your melee weapon. You don't get penalized for just continually spamming the melee key. And you could do this to slaughter all targets to your heart's content. Other enemies like the heavy gunners do post a threat to players when getting too close, as they will slam the ground and knock you off of your feet. Sometimes, you will think twice about engaging these types of enemies since getting knocked down will result in death at high levels. But like always, there's a way to bypass that and just by adding a max rank. Prime sure-footed in your Warframe, you will have 100% immunity to knockdown attacks and you are back to being the melee god again. What I'm suggesting here is a mechanic wherein you get penalized for spamming melee or better yet, enemies can counter with a devastating attack once you overspammed your melee weapon. This would actually make sense, since you will be cautious in using melee too much, then you will get tactical with your approach and use your guns to kill enemies instead. But it wouldn't be effective if guns will stay the same. I know that Warframe is an easy game, and there's no point in debating what to use to kill enemies in a normal star chart. Melee or guns, enemies will die even if you don't use the right mods in your weapons. However, things changed when you are doing steel path, sorties, 
and other sorts of high-level missions, you will see the wide gap between melee and guns when doing this type of mission. It's kind of weird since the weapon stat composition of both melee and guns are just the same. Both weapons are composed of main stats like status chance, critical chance, critical damage. They just differ in some, like attack speed for melee weapons while fire rate for guns. But the majority of how we mod them depends on the three major stats. So why does melee hit harder than guns? There are two reasons. One is because melee has the combo counter and two, these weapons got acolyte mods which increase the overall status and critical of a melee by tenfolds. Compare these mods to the gun variants like point strike and dual status chance mods you will clearly see the big gap between the two weapon types. On top of mods like Blood, Rush and Weeping Wounds, melee weapons also have the dual status chance and sacrificial crit mods which are way superior to the gun variant. So how do you solve this? Well, simple. Release mods that are equivalent to the supreme melee mods. So, squad leader, are you suggesting that digital extremes should release acolyte mods for guns? Also, are you thinking of suggesting a combo counter mechanic for guns? If something like blood rush or weeping wounds for primaries and secondaries would make guns better, then why not? Think of this. The more you hit the enemies with your guns, the more status and critical chance you gain. It's a good idea for high fire rate weapons. But honestly, it would be hard to apply on area of effect guns such as Kuva Brahma. Now Scott mentioned working on some features of gun damage being increased by melee hits. I don't know if I heard it right, but if the developer is planning to add this feature in the future, then it would somehow fix the lackluster damage of guns in the game. But also, I hope the developer would consider that guns also need those primed mods so they could compete with the damage of melee weapons. Also, they could do a unified combo counter wherein damage of guns and melee will increase the higher your combo. This is a Devil May Cry play style, and I will be very happy if Digital Extremes would do this. This kind of gameplay can be adapted by Warframe, looking at how fast paced this game is in terms of combat. For those who don't get this idea, then it's just actually making everything hit from both melee and guns at to the meter but has diminishing returns. This will be a great feature, since the only thing that we are buffing here is the guns and not the melee weapons. A unified combo counter would boost the damage of guns, without sacrificing melee weapons by doing some unnecessary nerfs. Melee 3.0 already brought out some important changes to how fast switching your weapons in the game, and the developer could take advantage of this to just add the unit unified combo counter. However, guns must also have new mods which will allow guns to deal more damage but not to the extent that they will become overpowered than melee weapons. Primed Hornet Strike, Primed Point Strike, Primed Blunderbuss, Primed Serration, Primed Vital Sense, and all the necessary mods to increase the damage, critical, and status of guns should also be included. Now, the developer also talks about how imbalance attack speed for melee mods, and they are planning to deal with it in the future. Honestly, they should be careful in nerfing the attack speed of melee, since heavy weapons exist that have very slow attack speed. If they decide to nerf the attack speed percentage, then it would probably hit these types of melee weapons badly. Extremely fast melees are good, but ludicrous melees need to go. But like I've said, there is a huge problem. A lot of the time people running ludicrous speed melees are running Volt, Gauss, and stacking attack speed mods. If they nerf attack speed across the board, melees like heavy weapons will be so slow they won't be usable outside ludicrous speed builds. Instead of nerfing the percent attack speed bonus, they can just convert attack speed to multi-hit. That way, DPS effectively remains unchanged, and each weapon class gets a more distinct identity and feel. They can also adjust the stances to compensate for these changes. However, based on what Scott said in the dev stream, I think he is referring to the attack speed stacking rather than nerfing attack speed across the board. Probably, they will limit the attack speed stacking to halt those ludicrous melee speeds. Overall, the problem people have with melee meta isn't that it's a forced play style. It's that the play style that's forced isn't what the devs want and it isn't fun at all. The worst part is, it makes two-third of weapons like they never existed at all. It's not hard to fix this problem since, in my opinion, we don't need a complete overhaul on the gunplay and melee mechanics in the game. All digital extremes must do is to add some features in the gunplay of the game which will somehow work well with the melee system. Varied gameplay between gunplay and opportunistic melee kills would be so much more fun than what we have now. Also, 
it would be great to see some enemy resistance and not just make them bullet sponges. This way, we don't feel like proper builds and setup are worthless since you could wipe out an entire room by equipping the same mods in your weapon. They should try to spice things up, and give variety to how we can play the game. Because honestly, things get boring if the developer just always adds powerful things which we can use to slaughter brain dead enemies. These are just my opinions about the current issue about melee meta. I would strongly suggest that you don't hate melee weapons just because they are strong. You should see the fact that guns in the game are weak, and they are only needed for specific tasks. Melee shouldn't be the one that gets nerf, but guns should be buffed to the point that it will have the same power level as the strong melee met right now. I hope we see better gunplay in the future. But I guess we will be waiting for a couple of months, since they are kind of busy with Railjack 3.0, and the Call of Tempest RE update. Fingers crossed that these two new updates will add interesting stuff to the core gameplay of Warframe, and not things that go obsolete after a couple of months. Let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about this video, and your opinions on the current state of melee and gunplay in the game. Next time, we will be discussing something about Trailjack 3.0 preparation guide, and that long overdue Octavia Prime build. Also, I got some interesting discussions and combos that I will share with you later. So be sure to check back later and I hope that you are enjoying the content I'm providing to you guys. Thank Thank you all for your love and support. Squad leader signing off. This is the future. Human error. Evolution. This is the future. Evolution.